Hello fellow leggers, thank you for joining us once again. We are in London on the South Bank where we, we are, blah, 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 the Belgian are visiting the National Theatre, specifically the Dorfman Space. Do you want to try that again? No. We're just rolling with it, right? Yes, well, we're, we're, we're to, owning it. We're here to see the Antipodes and typically Annie Baker plays make as much sense as what you've just said. <laughs> so it's the quite Antipodes. apt really. It's a UK premiere. Stick around to find out all of our thoughts. Find out how many stars. Whether it's break a leg or, or leg, leg it. it. She's actually come under criticism in the past for having plays with a lot of substance but no real plot. It's a bit, is it a bit marmite -y? I think We've she, enjoyed I mean, the experience. She's Pulitzer Prize winning as a writer yeah. and I think she, she explores the everyday in a really unique and hyper-realistic way. She does. And, and I think you know an Annie Baker play when you see an Annie Baker play. And she is directing this one as she well. She is indeed. Following acclaimed runs of her plays here at the National, The Flick yeah. and John, which we've got a review up for there. We saw both of those. She didn't direct those though. No. This this is her first this time is directing her first, here, Yeah, right? directing her here. Her own pieces. But like I say, she's renowned for having her own style and she gives the audience a look into everyday situations from a sort of fly-on-the-wall perspective. Yeah. Well, the Antipodes is no exception as it centres on eight colleagues working for an unknown organisation and struggling to overcome an unknown problem as they gather around the boardroom table and devise stories which beg the question, what use are random tales in a world filled with crisis? Okay, I'm sure maybe it'll make sense in context once you see it. I mean, I wouldn't bet on it. Sounds but, off the wall. But, but perhaps. Uh, now, it was first sure seen at the Signature Theatre New York in 2017. Okay. This is a UK premiere and has drawn an exquisite cast, guys. Exquisite? Exquisite. What makes this one exquisite? Conleth Hill. Oh, come on. Conleth Hill, mean, Game of Thrones. Yeah, he played uh, Varys. Varys, Varys, Varys. Yes. Varys, Varys. Um, we saw him in Virginia Woolf. Yes, opposite. If you were there, Imelda uh, Imelda Staunton. Staunton. And he was, was sensational. He was, he was great. absolutely sensational. And he's, a, he's an Olivier Award winner. For the producers, right? Yes, yeah. I'm sure that was it. I think he so, might have more than one. Let us know down I think below. He has. Conleth, how many have you got? Tell us. <laughs> um, also in the cast is Arthur Darville. Now, Arthur Darville was a companion to Doctor Who. Oh, yes, and who we saw last at the Donwell Warehouse in Sweet Charity. We did indeed. Yes. Hadley Fraser is also in the cast for this. He is returning to City of Angels, the Don Mar Warehouse production, which has just announced a transfer after like five years away. Quite a long time. We away. saw that a while ago. We did. Um, he's been in Young Frankenstein of yes. late. Mm. And also, did you say he did um, Committee? Over yeah, he Dunmar? wrote the book and lyrics for the musical Committee. And I'll take Longer committed. title. It had a much longer title, which I'll just get wrong, to be honest. Yeah. And also for Zeo Akinadi, who was from shipwreck at the Almeida. Well, that's what we saw him in last year. We did, yes. um, which was just sat around a table again mostly, wasn't it? I think know, his he's, scenes he's were the best table. things yeah. in it, but they were far and few and in he's between. He's phenomenal. He was also in Barbershop Chronicles in this space. Yep. He was in Channel 4's Cucumber, the Russell T Davis series as well. He's doing really I well. love him. Yeah, he's, 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 he's solid. He's so solid. Yep. And also Sinead Matthews, who played Doris in The Starry Messenger over at the Wyndham's, I think it was, that we've come under a bit of Fire for because uh, who we was, really who was liked in that? Um, who was the Bra lead Matthew thing? Broderick? Matthew Broderick. We yeah. enjoyed. We were on we, the front row. Loved it. We were the Everyone only behind ones. us. Didn't. We were the only ones that enjoyed it. But you know who knows. But we're looking forward to telling you all of our thoughts on the Antipodes, which has no interval. It's almost two hours straight through. So have a big wee before you go in and uh, stick around to hear our thoughts and find out how many stars. Well, thank God for that. What a turgid pile of rancid dog. Sh that piece absolutely was. Can I, Annie can I say, Baker, we're, we're, what have you done? Like, I loved the flick. I thought that was brilliant. So well observed. I thought John was suspenseful and funny. And this was like dog shit on paper. Um... The YouTube rules have changed. Yeah, we're not we're so not a family can, channel, right? We have to so we can say exactly what we for children. They're absolutely not. So there will be no censoring. <laughs> but I'm still not quite sure what you think of this. Oh really? Um, I feel like I literally like I never in my life so much felt like I wish I hadn't have bothered. Like I couldn't, re unfortunately, I couldn't recommend this set my worst enemy. Like it was purgatory painful. We need to break it down. Can we, I guess that's your initial feeling. Yes. I didn't think it was awful. Like okay. I was engaged in what was going on. 
And I say what was going on, what was going on. Yeah. We're, we're talking about the piece, right? Let's talk about the piece first of all. I couldn't work out if... It, no one knows what's going on. There, these people are in this place, and, but for no purpose. We're, we're just observing them. It's very meta theatre, I think, because they're talking about not, stories not making sense and almost going full circle. And what if time just is on an endless loop? And it's like we're it just felt like watching time was on this an endless, endless loop. loop. For me. And, but there's an interesting observation on um, stories and the importance of stories and how many stories there are and how stories are integral to us as human beings and that there's only seven stories but they can have it I found that to be quite interesting and when they were telling the stories I was like okay this is this is interesting but ultimately it doesn't go anywhere there is no plot there is no narrative there is no um, drama even there is no uh, unfolding or unpeeling or waiting to see what happens and as such we're just observing people on stage and the thing I think that what Annie does is that they're just really well observed the fact that people can be in space in the space and that in a way is theatre just the space between space the silence and the looks and that's as much as it goes I think in terms of the piece what piece I think you're being extremely generous. I think you're looking for meaning where there well, is right, none. I mean, going on I'm here. all about interpretation. I'm all about interpretation. I'm all about people, two people looking at the same picture uh, or painting, or abstract painting, and getting something different from it. I'm Which all for that, and Good. I appreciate uh, that you have had an experience. Yeah. I have had my life wasted. Like <laughs> I, I just I cannot find a single redeeming factor outside of oh, the performers were committed, and I leave. I love Conleth Hill. Can I, we, you know, we talk I talk about uh, um, company? I, let's move on. I mean, I love for say, oh, Akinady, but he, which one are you going to go with? Hang on, you said you've thrown okay, two names. Okay, let's talk Alan. about Conleth Hill first. I and love foremost. Conleth Hill. Uh, me too. He's an absolute. I absolutely love everything he does. Me too. Uh, my, I was. I mean, I've never watched Game of Thrones, him, but yes. And I think because I have seen Game of Thrones, I appreciate him even more because everything he does is just so different from what I've seen him on mainstream. TV. The guy is a genius to the point of being a chameleon. I, I didn't even recognize him. It took me a good 15 minutes to figure out that's Conleth. Oh, of course it is. And now I see it. But just his whole character, his whole mannerisms of being this kind of um, executive, this kind of high up figure. I believed everything and his manner. He wasn't even trying. He just was the character. And I say the character because it's so yeah. different to everything else I've seen. He's fantastic. He's one of the greats. I mean, he's an accomplished stage like, actor. He's Olivier Award winning. Um, you know, he has got um, nominations for TV credits as well. And it's because he's a fantastic actor. The only thing I can think of is the reason Annie Baker has to direct this and has to direct this performance is because she's the only one who could give the actors a clue <laughs> what she was thinking when she put pen to paper. So, of course, they're playing it with conviction. And directed by Annie, you would expect that because put into any of the director's hands, I don't think you could get a performance out of them because you, I, I honestly, if anyone understands what the hell was going on, please let us know down below. I thought but what at some the point, was, was I thought it? at some point it was almost like a hell. You yeah, know, like, I was um, stuck in purgatory. The purgatory that's what I, you know, thing. That's what I was thinking, is this a hell a never thing? ending? And they, <laughs> and they, like, they kind of this kind the of longest two hours of my existence, and I've been to South End on Sea. And Nothing may, wrong with that, then. Maybe Annie, maybe had she had to direct it, and maybe she yeah. knew there couldn't be an interval. Yeah. Um, I saw people yawning, two people were asleep next to me, asleep, and I mean, put their coats on up to their necks and snuggled down, right? I had to tell someone off for using their phone, but to be honest with you, I was envious of them Can for I the first time. Can I tell you what time. happened to me? Just to, I was getting ever so annoyed at these two ladies who were just to the left of me, talking away, talking away. And I was like looking over going, what on earth is going on with you ladies? And I was, I was giving them the eye, ready to step in, and then I could see them mouthing the words, shall we go, shall we go? And they did, they picked up their Good stuff. Good for them. But they had, they're in a bit posi better position than me. And I was like, yeah. are you coming back? And they're like, no. So I nipped into their seats. Then the woman I was next to, about 15 minutes later, she grabbed her stuff and went as well. Do you know what? Scarpered. Yeah, I, I did And I was looking it. around, but I've got to say, I was looking around and there was a real mix 
of people who are having their best lives. Living their best lives is the saying. <laughs> oh, you can tell that you're, you're getting on, dear. Not, I'm not having my best life, I'm living my best life. Living their best lives, right? Seriously, howling at everything. And I did find a lot of it quite amusing. Like, I don't their know reactions. what was amusing. No, not just the, Okay. Well, yeah, they well, did I, amplify did you not it, think it was But funny? also, what was happening on stage and the, the subtle directions, I, I did think. I did find funny. I as think well. what I found humorous. They were living their best lives. For me, the but others wanted their lives to yeah, end. Yeah, I think for me, what I found humorous was the absurdity of of uh, of sort of trying to understand what they saw in it that I didn't see in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh my god, why are you laughing at this? Like, because it was so far detached from my. A, you know my appreciation of any artistic medium that I just couldn't comprehend what they were enjoying like that was absurd to me that was funny well you said that you, you enjoyed the subjectivity and how you know different people experience different I things I mean like, no I said I appreciate you it. appreciate uh, we talked about Conrith let's yeah. talk about who else let's we talk, want to talk about let's talk about Faseo um, Akinedi now oh, this is solid Again. I mean he is but this is a shipwrecked for him he gets those great monologue parts where he gets these impassioned long speeches but uh, about nothing like in shipwreck they were just about nothing and yet he no, get, he's, the, he's a master work. of the nothing i i don't know I, I mean i really en I, I enjoyed what he does i enjoy i enjoyed this i can't remember what i was going to say now it's gone i mean i wish this was gone um right arthur darville now it's gone um, in the role of Dave. He did what he Everyone could. Everyone knows a Dave, right? He did what he could. Yeah, he did what he could. Hadley Fraser did what he could. Sinead Matthews in the role of Eleanor. She had some uh, there was humor. The, I mean, the she Sarah? had the most Sarah? humorous Sarah? Oh, oh, is this the other girl? Yeah, yeah. no, she was good, actually, eating the eggs. She had some yeah. really good, nice timing yeah. as she well. She did have nice she, timing. She was really good. I'm um, also like the secretary um, lady, Sarah. Yeah, Imogen played Doll. By, I, I thought she was good as well. She had some nice comedy, comedy moments. I don't care. I'm sorry. I don't. And you know what? I almost don't want to hear from you because I don't. I don't care. Well, I, I'm sorry, but you have to because <sighs> that's what uh, that's what it means to be a legger. It, uh, well, we yeah. appreciate other people's opinions and experiences, regardless. Huh? Hashtag fellow legger. So, um, should we wrap this up? I, I, I'm feeling you wanted you want to change tempo and get get out I of wanted this place. To, I wanted to be halfway home. <laughs> I was looking down because we were sat in different places yeah. and I was trying to tell if you were enjoying it okay. and I couldn't tell. At I was one point I thought I saw you go, like kind of put your head back and do that kind of switchy offy, disengagey, subtle, passive thing I mean, I, was thing you do I when stayed you're not because it. I wanted to be respectful. I was thinking, if I've, because you couldn't if leave, because there's no interval. No, I could have left. <laughs> I was on an island. I could have left and I was seriously considering it. But I wanted to remain because, like I say, from a, a mark of respect, because, I mean, I. A, do they know that they're in this piece? I feel their pain. Maybe. I felt their pain. I wanted well, to... No, em empathy kept me in my seat. You empathy. Can't, you can't say that because... Because they're getting paid for it, which no, is more than what we were because doing. Because they're also getting a good reaction. They're also getting laugh. There was laughter out there. The, like I say, there was one person gave a standing ovation. And there were several people leave. There were several people I saw on the front row as well at the applause, just like this. Yeah, and I, I was polite. I mean, sit down, shut up and clap, which is what I did. But anyway, how many stars are we going to give? For the... what the hell is it called? I've tried to cast it from my mind already. The Antipodes. The Antipodes, currently playing here at the Dorfman Theatre. Uh, for a, Not much longer, National. thank f for, for everybody. We are going to give... Two, two stars. Meeting in the middle. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I was more engaged in this than I was shipwrecked. Um, so I, 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 I enjoyed it to a degree. I enjoyed the performances. I enjoyed watching Conlith. Some of the monologue sections, some of the observations and the interactions, I did find enjoyable. Um, Would you and recommend engaging. somebody come see it? No, I enjoyed this because I think we see so much theatre that this is almost like you've got to have something different to look at and I appreciated it in its difference. Okay, so it's like, what's the worst possible job that we could do? Um, then we could make sure we've got a benchmark to mark everything else against. I get it, that's fine, let's leave it there. Anyway, that's just what we think. What do what you I think? think? What do you think? Let did you have a good time, a bad time? What did we miss? Please tell us, please enlighten Previous me. Sunny Bakers, what have you right. made? Because I don't think everyone agrees on her style. It is a very specific style. I mean, no, I've loved her other stuff, so I don't think it's her fault. I anyway, don't, I don't you want to go, her. we want to go. Yeah, we're, we're the Breaking Legos. Legos, we'll catch you again soon. And he'll catch you again soon. Bye! Bye.